Hi, I'm Mara. And I'm Chris. And you're watching Locks Life, Munchies with Mara. So what are we doing? Tonight we're doing surf and turf. Uh, today was the first weekend of lobster season 2020. Mm. Uh, the, the real season opens on August 6th every year, so that was this past Thursday. Unfortunately, wasn't able to get out that day, but we were able to get out today and see what the lobster were doing. Still slim pickings, just like mini season, but Bye. we were able to get some lobster tails. We've got three spiny lobster, and we actually have a slipper lobster here, which is like a nice little treat, right? Just a little different breed, but it's really good as well. And also, we have the turf, the steak. Yep, so we got just some normal steak here, New York strip, uh, just seasoned up. And we are also gonna do roasted broccoli. Ew. Yeah, she made me do a banana episode. We're doing a broccoli episode tonight. <laughs> Payback, nice. we're gonna go ahead and prep our lobster tails. The spiny lobster tail, this is what you're gonna see in Publix. This is the normal style lobster tail that you expect. What we have here is a slipper lobster. All right, this is just, a, sometimes it's called a shovel nose lobster. It's a different style of crustacean, but it has a very similar type tail and it's just as good eating. So I was going into a hole looking for a spiny lobster and this guy just came out. So it was in the bag and on the plate. Slipper lobster shell is a little bit tougher than the uh, spiny lobster, but it's still the same deal. I go to one of the top joints, straight down, straight back. Same deal, and straight back. Pretty simple. Yeah, and if you look, the meat's actually a nice white meat compared to the lobster, which is sometimes, you know, kind of opaque. Mm -hmm. So this is, you know, so that's pretty good right there. So pretty big difference here. Yeah, so you see the difference between the two lobster there, we got one really bright white meat, that's the slipper, and then kind of the uh, little bit darker color is the spiny. So we take the lobster tail and I just lay it down right in the aluminum foil, that's why it's nice to have it cracked open. I'm gonna get a little tab of butter on each of these and a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. And then we wrap it up like a nice little bit. And I try to keep the lobster tail open the way that it was split and cut, just so that meat is exposed and it doesn't kind of get, you know, sealed up. So this is a nice little lobster package, and this is going to go on the grill. Now we're going to take our butter, just place it on there, and do the Old Bay. How's that? One more of this. Perfect. There we go. And now fold it. And then Got the lobster on the grill, let this go. We're gonna let the steak do the direct heat first and then we'll come back out and we'll kind of switch the position. So we got the lobster over the direct heat now. We got the steaks in the center just to kind of finish them off. And uh, yeah, everything's going good. Let's go check the broccoli. We have some breadcrumbs toasting in the oven here. So they're nice and golden brown for our Vegetables. You toast the breadcrumbs by themselves without the broccoli. That way they don't turn mushy and they're gonna provide some good crunch. So now we're gonna prep the broccoli before we roast it. To get this going, we're gonna take about a, just a fat spoonful of garlic. We're gonna take some olive oil, mix it around. I am a big fan of garlic salt. A lot. So I do some garlic salt in there, that's enough. And then some fresh to ground black pepper. So here is our broccoli mixture. So it's going to help, that oil is going to help it crisp up when it's in the oven. So as soon as our breadcrumbs are ready, we're going to add the broccoli to it, crank the heat, and hopefully the lobster and steak will come off the grill right about the time that the broccoli comes out of the oven. Breadcrumbs nice golden brown. So the key here, that is still hot. Put in the broccoli. Oh, and see it's already, you can hear it sizzling as that oil hits the hot tray. I'm just going to crank it up to 400. There you go. 400, 405. We just want a nice high heat because we're trying to just quickly roast this broccoli. And in we go. 
So now we let the broccoli roast. We're gonna pull it out when it's got some color, a little bit of brown, just kind of wilting a little bit, and that's when it should still be crunchy. So it's not gonna be that mushy broccoli you may have had, yeah. and it's gonna be nice and tasty because of the oil and the garlic and stuff like that. And hopefully by that time, our surf and turf will be finished out on the grill and we can take that off. You can serve it up and eat. Oh, look at that. Look at that nice little package. It's got the butter. It's got the Old Bay. It's going to be awesome. Right, so there's that slipper lobster. Um, lobster's ready. Steak is resting. Broccoli's coming out. And Mara is standing by on cheese patrol. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got the broccoli there. Oh, it looks awesome. We're going to go ahead and just dump it into the bowl that we used to mix it. You can still hear it sizzling. And now, Mara, cheese it up. All right, that is good. Okay. And I tell you, I think this is the way that you eat broccoli. And so we're just going to cut a little bit. So this is our surf and turf. This is uh, the grilled lobster, our steak, and our roasted cheesy broccoli. Um, this is gonna be good, and I hope that this bodes well for a good lobster season. Let's get Mara to eat some broccoli, shall we? Oh, Remember, I tried the bananas. We're tasting? You're tasting I broccoli. I thought we were done. You're tasting broccoli. No. Remember, I tasted bananas for you. Yeah, but bananas are delicious. All right, this is Lock's Life. That's Munchies with Mara. More broccoli recipes coming.